Okay, so this is going to be the video where I'm going to show you how to do this on a PC. For those of you who would like to watch your 3D movies, Blu-ray 3D movies on PC with your preferable, you know, your preferenced PC VR headset. There's so many VR headset out there on the PC. Now, you cannot watch it directly from your Ultra HD external player. Okay, you cannot watch it directly from your player. This is why you need DVD Fab software, and I'm going to show you this software. Okay, but in order for you to use the software, you are going to need an external Blu-ray player. It doesn't have to be the Ultra HD player. It could be any external Blu-ray player. And second, you're going to need a uh, Blu-ray 3D disc to put inside. Okay, once you have done that, once you have disc inside, the next step is DVD Fab. All right, so this is my BenQ uh, monitor, 32-inch. Uh, and I love this monitor, by the way. So this is DVD Fab. And this is what you're going to need. So I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Okay. As you can see, I have already ripped one 3D Blu-ray movie. And that's the, uh, the Marvel's uh, Infinity War. But I'm going to show this to you again. I'm going to show this to you again. I'm going to uh, do it for this demo purpose. So like I said, first you need to have an uh, external Blu-ray player. And then you need to put a Blu-ray 3D disc inside. And then you need to download this DVD Fab. DVD Fab, which is right here. This is the newest version, 11.04.0 DVD Fab 64. It's going to be on a 3D MKV file. All right, as you can see, you see the uh, Marvel's Avengers Infinity War Blu-ray 3D. So, what we're going to do is this. So, the very first step is for you to click on the ripper. Click on it. Now, once you have done that, the second step is going to be for you to click right over here, right under where it says settings. You see this little tool, this little wrench? You need to click on that wrench. That's the, uh, the settings wrench. Click on it. Now here under the, uh, the settings, you will see the resolution, 1920 by 804 and we're going to use a different type of bitrate. Okay, I'm gonna uh, get the bit bitrate to be a little bit a little bit higher. Okay, we'll leave it at uh, five to nineteen kilobytes per second. All right, so we'll leave it there, or maybe you know what we can go maybe a little bit higher. Let's go. Let's go to six thousand. Okay, we're not going to split anything. We're going to go ahead and uh, come over here, leave it at the 5.1 multi-channel, 48 kilohertz, fast encoding. Okay. Now, when you scroll down below past the subtitles, now you don't have to use the subtitles. That's optional. All of this stuff it's optional. You can choose how you want it. That's the beauty of this uh, software is you get to choose how you want to rip this DVD, uh, this 3D Blu-ray. I keep calling it DVD, this 3D Blu-ray. You have many different ver uh, various of options. You can actually rip it in its original uh, format, but it's going to take you, I don't know, like 20 gigabytes, 30 gigabytes. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to conserve on my hard drive. So this is the important part, because remember, you're going to be using your VR headset via big screen VR. So this is the important part where it says 3D right here, where it says split screen. This is what you need to select. 
Now you can select what you want. Do you want to the half size or the full size? What we're going to do is we're going to select full size 100% left and right. Okay, so each size is going to be exactly the way it should be. Now, this might take a little bit more extra time to process, but that's what we're going to do. Now, once you have select the split screen, SBS, as you can see it right here, once you have selected that, the next step is going to be for us to click OK. And then, once we're done, clearly you can see here, you can see Infinity War, there's a wallpaper. That's another cool thing about this uh, DVD fab. It recognizes automatically the uh, what movie it is and it puts the, uh, the wallpaper of it in the background. Now, clearly you can see here it says Marvel's Avengers Infinity War Blu-ray 3D title. So the next step is this. We have to scroll down here. Oh, make sure that you know where you are recording your, uh, where you're going to be exporting, I'm sorry, where you're going to be exporting your side-by-side -side 3D movie. Make sure that it's on the, the file on your disk where you know exactly where to find it. So make sure you go over here and save to the file that you want to save. I don't know, maybe you have an external 2 terabyte, 3 terabyte. I recommend that you guys buy 7 terabytes hard drive from Seagate or 8 terabyte hard drive from Seagate. This is really going to help you out when you put these movies out onto a hard drive. This way, all of your movies are going to be on a hard drive. You don't have to uh, swipe the disks it's more convenient. All right. So once you know this is where you're going to be exporting your 3D Blu-ray movie, SBS, side by side, the next step is for you to go over here and click Start. Okay. So here it says... You are going to try Blu-ray Ripper, which allows you to try three discs in the 30-day uh, trial period. You have two more to go. To remove all the limitation, you need to purchase the paid version. So I got one more to go. I already did one with the Avatar. I got one more to go. So we're going to click Go Ahead and Continue. And you can see right here, right there. On the queue, on the queue right here, it shows you exactly how much you have uh, that's being processed. So it's what's currently what it's currently doing now. It's processing. It is processing the uh, the Avengers Infinity War 3D Blu-ray, and once it's done processing it, then it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna convert it. Conversion takes time. This will probably take somewhere between one hour to 15 minutes, hour and, uh, hour and 15 minutes, it takes time. And uh, it will take about 12 gigabytes because I chose to go with a full size SPS. Now you don't have to go with a full size like I did, but I think a full size better experience and also increase the bit rate a little bit. So I get a little bit of a better bit rate. And uh, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Now this is a free trial, you know, you have three, three rippings on the movie that you can do. And once you try it after the third one, then you're gonna have to purchase this. I think it's worth it. And remember, this is the only way that you can watch movies. And here you can see the movies that I have ripped. Uh, for example, the Avatar, I already ripped it and it's uh, side by side, I showed it to you yesterday. So that's it, that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. It's really that simple. And once you're done ripping it, then you use your big screen VR and from there you can watch this movie in SPS side by side via your VR headset. I recommend using uh, Windows Mixed Reality uh, HMD Odyssey Plus if you ask me. So this is how you do it guys. This is the only way for you to watch 3D movies on your PC with uh, virtual reality.
Thank you for watching.